Hello, my name is Rachel Maid. Today we are talking about my first center uh, for my lower level readers on the book On the Day That You Were Born by Deborah Frazier. Um, so for this first center, they're lower level readers and my grade level is kindergarten. So they will be listening to an audio version of the book, which there is many CDs available. Um, so they will go to the center. I have printed out directions here with visuals because they are in kindergarten, so reading will be difficult, especially for the lower levels. But you see on the first one, listen to the CD, so the student has their headphones on, listening to the audio version of the book. Um, and after they do that, they're going to be completing a concept map, answering the question, who welcomed you on the day that you were born, uh, just so you can see a little more clearly. Um, and they will be cutting out these pictures and gluing them around the concept map, and therefore answering the question, who welcomed you on the day that you were born. Um, so that is aiding in their comprehension of the story, and it addresses the standards uh, last kindergarten reading and literature 1.1 and 1.2, which regard answering questions about key details in a story, uh, which is the first standard, and the second one, 1 1.2, is retelling the story. Um, so after the, the concept map is, is addressing the first standard of answering questions about key details in the story um, because a lot of it, <clears throat> excuse me, is the parts uh, and the things that welcome you into the world. So the question they are answering is, who welcomed you on the day that you were born? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So part of those standards is being supported activities because they're in kindergarten, so they're just learning these skills. Um, <clears throat> and activities in my center are supported because they are using the visuals, which is the pictures, um, as well as in the center direction. So you can see here that the second one is complete the concept map, cut and paste. And then for the third one, after they complete their concept map, they're going to find a buddy and read the story to them, retelling the story using their completed concept map to do so. Uh, which is both aiding in their comprehension of the story and their listening skills, their reading skills, uh, and their speaking skills. So we could have incorporated more standards, but I chose to focus on those two mainly because they are the most supportive of uh, comprehension and their supported activities, which is necessary for at this level. Um, the standards are definitely addressed in my activity because one, they are supported. Two, they are answering a question using key details from the story. Um, and the question is based on the main idea of the story. So hopefully after completing the concept map, they will make that connection. Um, and then the second standard is addressed when they retell the story to appear. And that connects to both standards because they are using the question that they answered and the concept map that they created to retell the story. So it is therefore supported. Um, so the last aspect of the center is the rubric. Uh, so center one rubric, I chose to have three levels of proficiency. The first is proficient, which is worth four to five points. The second is developing two to three points and emergent zero to one points. So each criteria is going to be worth five points, uh, equaling a total of 20, which is going to be right here. There'll be room for comments at the bottom. Um, so the first criteria is listening skills, which regards, so I built my rubrics to address each part of the center as they build on one another in um, skills. So the first is the listening. The second is the concept map and its completion. The third is retelling the story and using the concept map to support it. And the last one is following directions because I believe that's an important part of kindergarten and, and especially in center work. So because they will not gain the purpose of the center if they do not follow the directions. Um, so I really liked Shelley Gray's video on organizing literacy centers and that really helped me in my creation of mine because I got my directions laid out. I have my rubric set up to support it and the materials that I will need would be readily available in a plastic baggie um, labeled for the students and it's very visual which she had commented on.
being important for students who are lower level readers. Um, and I think it was, let's see, uh, Maureen McLaughlin, who wrote the article creating managing or creating, organizing and managing comprehension centers also focused or that focused on ELLs, but it made a specific point of incorporating visuals for and, and listening to CDs and stuff for students. Um, as aiding their comprehension and being good quality of learning centers. Um, as for the rubric, I really like Deandra Little's article because it really helped me set out the criteria and level each criteria to a specific means that I can assess the students by, both from their behavior and activity during the center work, but also what came from after that. Um, because these students are unable to write for the most part, especially the lower level readers. I think this is a really great center because it's comprehensive um, and it allows the students to explore their reading and speaking and listening skills without challenging them too much. And it enables them therefore to focus on the real purpose of comprehending the story and not figuring out how to do the center. Um, so that was my first center. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.